potential energy of a spring. So, in this case suppose you have taken a spring like this, this is actually an example of helical spring. If you attach some mass here and a spring is placed at this point here, it has got its natural length, there is no extension. Now, if you apply force to this side here that is external force. So, a spring gets a stretched. So, the situation will become now in this case, a spring gets a stretched by here this distance x, external force is acting to this side and one force is acting to this side that is called restoring force and we call it a spring force also. See here this restoring force which is acting to this side that tries to bring the spring into its equilibrium position that was in original position. So, this situation is of equilibrium. So, as you have stretched the spring a force is acting towards equilibrium position which tries to bring the spring into equilibrium position and this force is known as restoring force. Now, when you compress this suppose the spring is compressed external force is applied to this side restoring force will be acting to this side and in that case also that is a spring force is opposite to the displacement. So, we can write here a spring force F s is proportional to minus x. So, we can write F s is equal to minus k x where F s is a spring force negative force is showing here it is acting towards equilibrium position or the mean position x is known as your displacement or that is a stretch in the spring or you can say extension or compression in the spring. Here k is called a spring constant k is your spring constant larger the value of k the spring is more stiffer. So, the k actually determines or defines the stiffness of the spring. So, if the value of k is small stiffness is less, if the value of k is large stiffness is more. So, we can write also k is equal to f s upon x. So, its unit is obviously Newton per meter. So, this is about the spring constant and the restoring force. Let us do the energy is stored in the spring. So, now we will calculate formula for energy stored in the spring. Suppose, a spring is stretched by small displacement d x. Then, work done by a spring force that means restoring force d w is equal to f s dot d x. We can write d w is equal to f s d x cos theta. We know it is your theta is equal to 180 degree because the spring force is opposite to displacement. So, d w is equal to minus f s d x. Now, if you want to stretch the spring from 0 to x, then the total work done we can write d w is equal to minus k x d x 0 to x because magnitude of f s is equal to k x. So, I have written the magnitude of f x. Now, if you integrate it, you will be getting minus k x square by 2. So, this is the work done by a spring force and now see here potential energy or that is the work done by the spring force is this much. So, work done by the external force is. So, work done by external force w is equal to k x square by 2 that is plus here. So, this is the work done by external force and that is the formula for the energy stored in the spring. Now, see we have got the formula if the spring is like this 
and suppose the body was other here and spring is stressed to this point that is the distance x. When a spring is stressed to this point, this is x is displacement maximum displacement. So, w is equal to half k x square that is the energy stored. This is the extreme position of the spring at this point kinetic energy of the spring is 0. If you release at this point, if spring will come back to the mean position, it means its potential energy that is elastic potential energy keeps on changing into kinetic energy. When the spring reaches to the mean position, again its whole potential energy changes into kinetic energy. So, also you can write when the spring uh, this body reaches to the mean position, its velocity is suppose V m. So, we can write also half m V m is square is equal to half k x square. So, we can apply here the conservation of energy whatever the energy was here that is the total potential energy is equal to total kinetic energy here. Now, in this case similarly when the spring goes to this side again the compression takes place potential energy is stored in the spring and again as it is released it potential energy keeps on changing into kinetic energy. So, this process continues here conversion of potential energy to kinetic kinetic to potential. Now, if you draw the graph between here suppose like uh, you are taking here f and here you are taking x. So, we can get the graph like this because when you are taking positive x force is negative and when you are taking negative x force is positive. So, calculate this slope also. So, that is here f. So, if you calculate it is uh, this area here completely. So, what will be here? this area is equal to half into f into x that is equal to half into k x into x that is, is equal to half k x square. So, by calculating this area also you can calculate energy stored in spring and also there is a variation of potential energy and kinetic energy of the spring with the x. We can take graph like this. In this case, x to this side, potential energy and kinetic energy both to this side. For the potential energy, because that is uh, directly proportional to x square graph is something like this. So, we can get the kinetic energy. So, this graph here the line which I am making that shows here the potential energy and this one is kinetic energy. So, at the mean position potential energy is 0 whereas, kinetic energy is maximum and at the extreme position here plus x and here we can take minus x here the kinetic energy is 0 and potential energy is maximum, but total energy remains constant here that is something is here this is showing here the total energy. So, this is the variation of potential energy and kinetic energy with the x.